Today we are here at Cash America Pond where I'm going to be buying every single Apple product in this pawn shop and it's going to get expensive. Hello. Right when you walk in, we're seeing all of the tablets. So it looks like they have like Samsung over there, Samsung over here. That's definitely an iPad back there. Definitely an iPad. And it is not cheap. And the thing about this challenge is we don't get to check if they work or not. We have to buy them. So Samsung, Samsung. Oh, that's an iPad back there. You see that one? That is definitely an iPad back there. Okay, so it looks like there's only two. Can we see all the iPads you have? Okay. So this is an iPad back here. Oh my gosh, it's cracked though. Oh, it's a screen protector. Oh shoot, this is the newest one. $800. Excuse me, can you tell me how much this one is? Six forty. So. I'm not gonna test this out whether it works or not. We're just gonna buy it because that is the challenge. There's one iPad. Then they have one back here as well. This one is like an older one. So this one is 275 and this isn't even like the newest version of it. It's kind of overpriced, but I guess we have to buy it. <laughs> That's already like a thousand dollars on just iPad. Next up, we have to go find out if there's any Apple Watches. I'm kind of scared because Apple Watches can be really expensive and a lot of times there's a ton of Apple Watches. I don't see any iMacs or anything. Here are their Apple Watches. The thing is, we don't even know if it's locked or not. It literally could be locked. So it looks like they have like two Apple Watches in here. Don't know if they work and honestly, I don't think we can test if they work. Can we take both the Apple Watches? I guess we're taking both of them. It says 119 right there. And then I guess we will take this one. Buying all your stock out. Okay, so far we've already bought two iPads, two Apple Watches. We don't even know if they work or not. Okay, there's also what looks like a lot of AirPods. I'm literally, look, we have some of the older generation. Ooh, they look musty too. It's all right, you know what? We gotta buy all of them. 60, 75, it looks like pros for 140. <gasps> there's one missing. Okay, I'm not paying 140 for a whole a missing AirPod. So you have to buy everything. I have, there looks like there's one right here in the box. So we have two of the older generations and then we have two of the newer ones. And this one does come with the box. So it's a little more fancy. Let's make sure there's something in it though. And there we have a another pair of AirPods. I wonder if any of these have gone down in price at all. Maybe they'll give me like a deal. It's like buy four, get one <laughs> for free or something. Why would I need four AirPods for? Who's that? Whose video idea was this? This was your video idea. We'll take these four. We've literally shopped for iPads, Apple Watches, and AirPods, but we forgot about the most important thing, iPhones. iPhones are so, I don't even wanna see how many iPhones they have here, but I already feel like we're spending so much money. And the part, part of this challenge is we don't know if any of it is going to work. For all we know, they could all be iCloud locked. What am I doing? Or too deep in now. Okay, so this is the selection of iPhones that they have, which is not too crazy. Luckily, I think they only have two. They have a 6S right here, and then it looks like a 13 Pro Max back there. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and get both of those and call it a day on buying all these products. <laughs> take my money, just take it. <laughs> I just spent $2,000 on Apple products at the pawn shop that may or may not even work. So, let's test them out. This is $2,000 in this one little bag. So, I think we should start first with all of the AirPods since we did get a lot. Let's go ahead and test these out. You know that this one only has one AirPod and I did get it for a discount instead of $140. I told them I would give them $80 for it. You know, I'm a steals and deals girl. I know how to get the steals and deals. Do I really though? I just bought an AirPod with one AirPod. I don't think I'm a good negotiator. Okay, then we have two of the old generations. One was $60, one was $75. I didn't even check to make sure that they're actually in here. They are in there. Two of the old generations. And then we have another AirPod Pro, but this one came in the box. Okay, this one. It sounds real. These, and then we have a charger for it. Very good. Oh, this one actually comes with tips. Now, at the moment of truth, let's test them out, see if they work, and find out if any of these are fake. First things first, let's try out the older generation. We're gonna have to clean these 100,000%. There's no way I'm putting people's nasty earwax in my nasty earwax. This is gonna take a lot of cleaning. Here goes nothing. Later. It's time to test the first pair. Oh, so it showed right away, which is a good sign. Let's hold the button. So they were Angel AirPod. Thank you, Angel, for your AirPods that are now my AirPods. All right, let's go ahead and test them out. Oh, they work. All right. First AirPods work. Steals and deals. Next AirPods. All of these are seeming real so far, which is good. We don't want any fake AirPods up in here. Second pair of AirPods. <laughs> They sound a little weird. I can hear that loud. They sound weird. I think these are broken. They sound super whack. Like they're all the way loud and I can't barely hear it. Okay, so the second pair, I'm gonna have to give a flop because I do not think that these work like they're supposed to. So these, I think we got scammed. And now we're gonna go ahead and test out AirPod Pros. Now I let them charge and AirPod Pro, baby. Okay, they look good. Now let's go ahead and try them out because these honestly still could be fake too. They're working. Okay, let me try and see if they are noise cancellation. Cause if they're not noise cancellation, then they're fake. They work. This one's like buzzing. I cannot tell if these are real or not. I think I'm just gonna take my W because the noise cancellation worked and they work. So I think this one was a good deal. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out the AirPods with only one AirPod. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these to work. Wait, these feel really fake. And then this is the other one. 
These are real. That's fake. Oh my god. We just paid eighty dollars for some fake AirPods with one. What am I doing with my life? They're not even showing up on my phone. This one AirPod actually does work, but it's a thousand percent fake. It came up as best quiz. I don't know what I was thinking buying these, but we a hundred percent just got scammed on these. At least we got one pair of real AirPod Pro. I think. Maybe. Up here is how much we spent on them, and down here is how much they would actually cost. But considering that two of them don't work, it's just a waste of money, pretty much. Comment down below if you want some fake AirPods, you want some AirPods, they're for you, baby. I'll give away all of these. Free. Free 99. Next, we're gonna test out the Apple Watches I bought. Luckily, I only had to buy two Apple Watches. I bought this one and this one. This one was $200, and this one was $300. $500 just on Apple Watches. These better work. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the cheaper one first. Why is it not turning on? Literally, it's not even even turning on. I'm just gonna hope that these are dead, not broken. That's a lot of money to not even turning on. Let's try this one. See, this one, at least it says that it's dead on there. So at least this one turns on. We're gonna charge these. Please work. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Okay. okay, so the Apple Watch is finally done charging, and guess what? It works! It is fully functional, and it's paired up with my iPhone, so at least we got one good Apple Watch. However, this thing is pretty old. People are selling this on Poshmark for $50. We paid $300! Dang it! We got completely scammed on this one, but hey, at least it turns on. If you need an Apple Watch, I got you. Okay, so this is the other Apple Watch that we spent $200 on, but we're also going to try and see if this one will pair. We've come across a problem. I was trying to pair this Apple Watch, and it just told me that it was locked with Apple ID. That literally means this Apple Watch is no good. It was bad enough that this Apple Watch is in such bad condition, but now we can't use it either because it's linked with an Apple ID. We can't get into it. So pretty much, this was a complete waste of $200. Now it's time that to test out the iPads that we bought. We had to buy two iPads in the store because that's all they had. You guys already saw this one, but it is the giant iPad, and I am rain that this thing works. It was $600, and hopefully you guys like it because if this works, it's going to you guys. We also have an older generation iPad that is a little bit beat up, and this one was too expensive too. This one was $225. So first, let's try out this iPad. Oh my gosh, everything is dead. And all this money just for it all to be dead? Are you kidding me? So here is the iPad that we bought, and it does work, which is awesome. That's the first step, and it's not locked. Normally, iPads have locks on them, and if they do, then you're screwed. So, this is what this one looks like. Wow, it actually looks pretty good. There's not any cracks on it. Test the camera out real quick, make sure that works. That works good. Let's just go ahead and check the sound. I'm pretty sure we got scammed on this one, though, because this is kind of an old iPad. The new iPhone 14 is set to come out. It does not sound very good. So, this iPad obviously does work. However, it is an old generation. So, let's see if we lost money on this. We paid $275 for this iPad, and Actually, it's on the market at almost $600 on Walmart. So I guess we kind of got a steal and a deal on this one. This one also does have a lot more damage on it. Bumps and then there's like scratches. This one actually was a good deal. If this worked, this would be such a good giveaway for you guys. It's cracked. I'm hoping that it just a screen protector because it looks like there's a screen protector on it. Let's see if it's really just the screen protector or if the actual iPad is cracked. Yes, it is just the screen protector. Oh my gosh, it actually looks like in perfect condition. Dang, whoever sold this iPad really did a good job of taking care of it. It literally does not have a single scratch on it. Moment of truth here. Let's turn it on. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, of course it's dead. Here is our giant iPad, and it's time for the moment of truth. Yes, it worked. And it's got a tractor on it. And it's not iCloud locked. What a steal and deal. First things first, let's go ahead and test out everything to make sure it works. Seems to be working. Try out the camera. Make sure the camera works. Camera work and I look fabulous. So it seems like everything else is working really good, but you already know we gotta watch that with Grace ad. I have never had an iPad this big though. It's like bigger than my face. Really gonna be here for hours. Just look at me, it's so big. Come on, oh my god. We didn't talk about how we actually got kind of a really good steal and deal on this iPad. This generation and this size is normally like fourteen hundred dollars. We got it for six hundred and forty. That's like half the price. And guess what, guys? This iPad is going to you guys for a giveaway and anything else that worked for this video. So if you guys want to win this, make sure to stay tuned till the end. And the final thing that we bought at the pawn shop were the iPhones. We bought two iPhones and the first one was an iPhone 6S. This one we had to buy, it is so old, but it was in the shop and I said I was gonna buy everything in the shop. So this one was like $120, which is kind of expensive considering that this phone is like older than me. Not really, but like kind of. So this is what it looks like and it actually came in the box. Wow, it actually comes like Apple stickers and stuff. And missing AirPods. Let's go ahead and test it out and see if this thing at least works. Why is everything we bought not turning on? I'm assuming it's dead. Let's charge it. Late. 
detail. This is the iPhone 6S that we just got from the pawn shop. And I just checked online and this thing is actually 100 bucks, brand new. So how do we manage to get scammed $25 on a used iPhone 6S? This thing is so old, like no one even wants these anymore. I probably should've got this for free. But let's go ahead and just take a couple pictures just for funsies. Camera works, everything works. Literally good condition. It was kind of a scam. We did lose $25 on this one. That's just what you do when you buy everything from the pawn shop. You have to buy the good with the bad. And the last and possibly the craziest thing that we bought was an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I saw this one in the store, so we had to buy it. And it was actually $300. So it was kind of a good deal. But this is what it looked like. I have no idea if it's going to actually turn on or not. So here is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and test her out. And of course, it's not turning on. So I'm going to assume that we have to charge it. So let's go ahead and try and charge it. I think we just got a fake iPhone. It doesn't even go in. Oh my gosh. That is like the biggest sign that something is fake. Did I literally fall for that? I'm the Apple girl. How did I fall for that? It looks so real from the front. Like how was I supposed to know? The pawn shop must have thought it was real too because it literally looks so real. Are you kidding me right now? I paid $300 for this. Really should have checked out this stuff before I bought it, but I wanted to be true to the challenge. There's not even an, like an Apple logo on it. Oh my gosh. I'm literally so dumb. This is obviously fake. I thought of all people I would be able to tell, but I didn't think that we were like legitimately gonna buy one. But now I understand like why pawn shop won't buy iPhones anymore because there's just too many fake stuff out there. Am I dumb for believing that it looks real? That was this video guys. Let this be a lesson to you to not go into a pawn shop and buy every single Apple product in there because you will get some steals and deals and you will get some absolute scams. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to, uh, this iPad Pro, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below why you want this iPad. Beware of scammers because they will try to tell you to message them on Telegram. Do not message them on Telegram. That is not me. I will be announcing it on this Instagram only. Also, if you want extra entries, go ahead click the link in my description for some extra entries to win this iPad. I just bought every single iPhone case on Amazon, so watch that video right here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!